iPhone 7 availability expands, but rumors claim lackluster sales. Huawei Nexus 7P rumors return, and this time with a kick. And that added kick is actually a probable new operating system by Google. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, I explicitly asked for a Super Mario 3 t-shirt, but this one will do, actually. This is Pocket Now Daily. Official news today begin with deals. Those of you in the market for a computer, you might still be in time to get a really good deal from Microsoft. The company is now offering the entry-level Surface Pro 4 for $150 off, meaning $750 retail, which would pretty much make even the iPad Pro 9.7 inch look really bad. Yeah, I highly suggest you consider. And for those of you that are wondering exactly how the iPhone 7 is doing, it is rather interesting that Apple declined to offer sales numbers over the first weekend, something the company has been doing ever since the iPhone 4, I believe. But anyways, the company did not do so, and we kind of get why, as the iPhone 7 sales have expanded. And according to trusted sources and analysts, apparently sales are down 25%. It could be that people went crazy over the 7 Plus and couldn't get the phone, but hey, we will learn in the company's quarter results soon. Now let's move the spotlight over to Samsung for those of you that are wondering what the specifications are for the Galaxy S8. There are some really shady ones out there that are just probably too overpromising, but hear this, 5.2 inch 4K display. The 4K is something I don't think will happen, but then we obviously hear a Snapdragon processor, which uh, pretty much contradicts the Exynos rumors that we heard about. But in addition to that, we hear a 4,200 milliamp hour battery, whopping, but possible as it's included in the active. And in addition to that, a probable 30 megapixel camera. This will be a rather interesting change for Samsung if it does happen, but stay tuned, the company does need a boost. And for those of you that are wondering exactly when Google Home will appear in the scene, the Amazon Echo competitor that brings you the assistant, uh, we've got rumors that claim that you might be able to get it as soon as uh, October 4, whenever Google's event happens. But this is rather interesting as we also see some leaked images of the Google Chromecast Ultra. And while we still don't know exactly what that Ultra will be, what we do know is that it is a bit larger. One, two, it doesn't include the Chromecast logo. It says everything is going Google and branding. That will be rather interesting. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with a probable new operating system from Google, a merger between Android and Chrome OS. Rumors claim that the name will be Andromeda, and we hear that those whole Huawei 7P rumors might point to a tablet running that operating system in addition to a separate Google Pixel tablet computer, probably, that will also be running the OS. Now, we're not exactly sure if this means that the tablet operating system will be the only one that will run Andromeda, but if that were the case, it does lead me to the question of the day. Do you think that the whole Android ecosystem, meaning Android as it is, should evolve into Andromeda and make something holistic, a single operating system? Or do you think that tablets should be treated with something more robust? In my case, I think that the more robust approach should be it, mainly because the, the holistic approach already did not work for Google. But leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on FuckingNow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also catch our videos on Vessel, Vessel.com slash PocketNow, and follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.